Hey cruisers, thank you so much for being here with us today and sharing in the excitement of packing for our next cruise. We are soon embarking on a 12 night journey from Tokyo to Singapore on Diamond Princess. We're really super excited. A few days ago we showed you what was in Hubby's suitcase and now we're going to be showing you what's in my suitcase and what is in our uh, son's suitcase as well as our backpacks and our night before the cruise bag. Today's episode is sponsored by CruiseLine.com where you can find reviews, tips and photos from real everyday cruisers. Be sure to check out CruiseLine.com using the link in the description for this video and be sure to join us on Shipmate app. Everybody in the pre-chat was putting in their Shipmate username so that they could friend each other. You got to do that and stay tuned in the month of December for a video coming up on how to book excursions using Shipmate app and our personal experience booking those excursions in two ports in Asia. We're really excited to share our experience. It was a very good one. And we are booked for two Shipmate app excursions on our next cruise. So this is exciting. What we're gonna do is go over a little bit of housekeeping, just a teeny tiny bit. Then we're going to deconstruct each bag, kind of take everything out, show you what's inside, won't be able to show you every item. We're going to try to get through as much of the um, logistics and showing you the, the items in the suitcases in the first 20 minutes so that we can then turn our attention to questions and answers. We will not be answering questions along the way unless they're pertaining exactly to what we're talking about, just to keep things on track. And for the people watching the replay who just wanna see the packing portion, that will happen for them. All right, so let's talk about some details that we need to get out of the way. Products mentioned in today's video, instead of being in the description, are in the comment section of this video, pinned to the top. If I'm missing anything, you can just message me on Facebook or here on YouTube and I'll be sure to get you a link to any item that we can potentially get for you, no problem. We have just posted our video schedule for the entire month of December, all over social media and here on YouTube. So there's an image, a nice beachy looking image on the community tab in YouTube that shows you all the videos, but I will tell you right now, what the schedule is. We are going to have videos recorded for you every Thursday in the month of December, starting on the 6th, then again the 13th, then again, I believe, the 20th, and then we will be going live, I believe, on Saturday. Let me just check here. I want to look at my calendar. We should be going live on Saturday, December 22nd. Um, that'll be the next time we have a live stream, so stay tuned for that. We're really excited to see all of you guys and catch up right before Christmas. Should be super fun. So let's get into bag number one. This is a carry-on bag. We are going to more focus on calling this a packing light episode than carry-on because with international baggage restrictions and weight restrictions, these may not be carry-on bags. They may end up being checked. So we're basically focusing on packing light with the understanding that we are using carry-on bags to do so and they may be checked. So without further ado, let's jump into bag number one. This particular suitcase right here is an old Roxy suitcase that I got a million years ago at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I don't have a link to it. I'm really sorry. Everybody loves this suitcase and so do I. It's totally beaten up. Um, but keep an eye on those places for good luggage buys. This uh, particular part of the suitcase is full of all kinds of random stuff. This particular side had the, um, you know, those, uh, the bars for the, um, the handle of a suitcase, how they sort of make things awkward in one side of the suitcase. We use this for only slim packing cubes and miscellaneous stuff because of the fact that it was odd size. So there's a lot of mishmash in here, but this is technically my suitcase and my son's suitcase. The first item I'm gonna show you is a little sling backpack from Natasha's 31 store. Natasha is here in the chat today and you've seen a lot of her products on our Cruise Gear channel. She also moderates our Cruise Tips TV Academy um, student page and this is a kind of a sling back mini backpack that I'll be using in the ports. I also have a full size backpack over there, but for those times when you're buzzing around on the ship in the morning and you don't need a whole lot on your back, this is the type of item that I wanted to use. So thank you so much, Natasha, for sending that to me. It has small water bottle holders or sunglass holders on the side. It has a nice size um, zippered pocket here for things and yeah, put it over here. Okay, I'll show it over here. Thank you, sweetie, for letting me know. So that's a closer look at it. Definitely smaller than a standard backpack. It has an adjustable handle on it and a couple of little pockets you can put things in there like your cruise card. For me, it's always chapstick, lipstick, sunscreen, um, cash, you know, things like that. Water bottles on the side, all that good stuff. So this is one of my favorite new items for my cruise. I'm gonna put that aside over here and we'll get into the next little bit. As you can see here, the next 
part of the um, suitcase is really focused on my shoes. I have most of my shoes in this section. I will be taking um, one, two, three, four pair of shoes on this cruise, one of which you will not see today because I'm wearing them on the airplane, and they're just sneakers, just the standard Nike tangents that you saw me wear to Alaska. So first I'm going to show you my formal shoes because I keep them in this pretty bag that I got from Bag It by Joanne, and um, they were on the thumbnail of this video. They're so pretty. I got them at... Um, Marshalls last year and they're Michael Kors and I think I got them for under $35 but they're really pretty so these will be for the two formal nights on board it's really hard to put everything back in the bag just so so I may not try to be meticulous about it and then the other um, shoe is a flip-flop which I will wear a lot around the ship in the mornings on you know casual sea days and on excursions in our warmer climates like Vietnam and Singapore. And then I have my go-to wedge sandals that I'll probably wear to every single dinner except the formal nights. And these are super comfortable. These are worn in. They are not new and they feel like a million bucks on my feet. They are not uncomfortable. None of the shoes that I'm taking are uncomfortable at all. All right, this right here is my husband's tripod. It is giant. It always takes up a lot of space in the suitcase, but we need this if we're going to do interviews where we need a stationary camera that doesn't move. This has to come along. Difficult for us to pack something this heavy on a cruise where we're trying to take it light, but it's just a priority. This is a wonderful new item that I bought. You can see this featured in our cruise haul on our cruise gear channel. We showed you a bunch of the new items we were buying. And this is one of three e-bags slim packing cubes in a really bright colored orange. These slim cubes come in handy for strategically fitting things into your suitcase when you can't put a full-size packing cube, but you kind of need to Jenga it in. So this has a number of different things in it, which I'll show you in detail. This this is a waste pack that will be great in ports and also around the ship um, that I got recently at Marshall's. This is my Tagalongs brand. We have a couple of them in a really funky print in our Amazon store, but it's a wild print. This is another item from Natasha's 31 store. This is a cute little tiny little purse that happens to have a couple of credit card slots in it, which I really like. As you can see right here, are we on this camera right now? main camera okay there's a few credit card slots so if I wanted to take this ashore and not take a purse or a wallet I could minimize put my cell phone in here some cash tucked into here and some credit cards and then kind of carry it as an over the shoulder again an adjustable strap I also will be carrying this to dinners on the cruise instead of monopolizing my son's backpack which sometimes I do anyway with larger things but this will be just big enough for the things I need lipstick room card um, sunglasses maybe my cell phone, things like that. Next up, I have a Wander wet bag. This is a wet swimsuit bag, pretty critical for the warmer ports that we'll be in and the, um, the swimsuit sea days that we're planning. And then because everyone needs to see bras, underwears, and socks, underwears, they're all in here, folks. I'm taking my underwear, I promise you. Running joke on Cruise Tips TV. So I also have, I take one really warm and cozy pair of socks on, um, on cruises and I just realized, I'm not sure if I put some of these in my carry-on bag for the flight, but I will double check and make sure. So these are fantastic, keep my feet really cozy. And then mostly the other socks are like athletic socks. And then I have a combination of underwear, which you don't need to see, and a combination of strapless bras and regular bras. For those of you who are curious about that, because everyone always asks, I want to take a moment to thank Jill for the super chat. Thank you so very much, Jill. We really appreciate you. I'm going to try to get everything back in here, but as you know, it's never possible. See, you just can't, you can't repack stuff. It just doesn't work. So I'm going to have to do that more scientifically a little bit later. Um, yeah, forget it. No. <laughs> I'm not even going to try, guys. I'm not very good at this part. Okay, now we're going to switch over to the main compartment of this particular suitcase. And then after I'm done with that, I'm going to have Mr. Cruise Tips TV come over and move the suitcase out of the way for me. All right, so over on this side, we have our stateroom essentials bag. Inside this bag, I'll just tell you what it is. I'll kind of I'll try to show you just a little bit too. We have our travel alarm clock, which is in a protective case. We have a surge, a non-surge protector power strip, which I hope does not get confiscated. Just a few magnets. I really pulled back on my magnets this time. I do have some of our super strong magnets in here, but just two this time because we're trying to keep it light. I have a highlighter pen for highlighting the daily newsletter. I have my lanyard to keep around my neck for my cruise card. And that thing is old. I really need to get a new one. I've got my wristbands for seasickness in here. This is another mishmash of stuff. I have a couple of clothes pins. I have some sticky notes to leave notes for my room steward or my husband. And 
I think that is all that we have in the stateroom essentials area this time, so I'll set that aside. Nice and flat, this particular pouch really, really, really does well. Jill, I do not take a purse, I only take my wallet. And um, backpacks, waist packs, and little things like that. I hate the way purses feel on my shoulders. In my normal daily life, they hurt me, and so I, I use a purse, but I don't carry it very much. So this is about the extent of a purse for me. If I really need to carry more stuff, I'll be using the um, the little 31 store, uh, like, what do you call that thing? Gosh, I can't remember what it's called. It's the, it's like a, um, Oh my goodness sakes, you guys, I'm, I just can't think of the word. Natasha, maybe you can help me out here. What is that cute little backpack called? <laughs> it's like half of a backpack. My goodness sakes. So let's look at the packing cubes. This is my son's clothing. He is packed entirely into two green packing cubes. Hopefully you can see those. Hubby snuck in a few little tech items over here, so they're kind of nicely tucked into the corner. And then we have a few more tech items resting sort of gently on top of the clothes here too. You can see we snuck in our, um, our USB charging hub and the Hutu and a little power cable here. But other than that, this is my son's clothing. I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you what's in here instead of showing you. We went really minimalist with his clothing because we're going to be doing laundry on this cruise many times, probably two, three times we'll do laundry because we really like packing light. He has two pairs of jeans, nice jeans for dinner. He has one pair of pants for formal night. He has one pair of cozy fleece pants. He has two swimsuits, a rash guard, and two pairs of shorts in this bag. Let me open the other bag and I'll complete the list for what my son is taking. Okay. As you can see, I have his ties gently laid across the top on top of his dressy shirts to try to minimize, minimize the wrinklage on his little clothing. But this is what this packing cube looks like. So these are his two formal shirts and ties on the top. Underneath that, he has some more shirts for dinner, some collared shirts that look, you know, things like this, nice, bright, colorful, that will go well with jeans, but he'll be, still be dressed up enough. I'm gonna count the number of t-shirts I have for him. One, two, three, four, five. Let me see if I have any more on this side. Six, seven, eight. So I have eight t-shirts for 12 days for him. And I have two polo shirts for dinners as well. And then I have about five dress shirts. So he can rewear a lot of this stuff because you're not in your dinner clothes for 12 hours getting them dirty. So we'll just hang his dinner shirts back in the closet, rewear them or wash them. So that's pretty much it. His underwear and socks are in another slim packing cube that we're going to get to soon. So I'll explain that to you. But honey, do you think you could come help me get the suitcase out of here so I can bring the next one around? And we're gonna just leave it kind of messy. Okay. Thank you, sweetheart. I don't know how you're gonna get this out of here. Do you want me to help? Okay. <laughs> He's gonna get it out of there with force. Okay, so I think what I wanna do is do the second suitcase now. So we're gonna be showing you, oh, this is really heavy, you guys. Um, I don't wanna injure myself before a cruise. That's something that I would do uh, 100% is injure myself, get sick or you know, stub my toe or cut myself or do something like that. But this is backpack, not backpack, I'm sorry. This is the eBags TLS Motherload rolling suitcase. It's a little bit pushed out, as you guys can see. So we're a little bit concerned about that. It does have straps to um, sort of squish everything down, but this is what the bag looks like, not expanded. So if we determine that it's too fat for this cruise, then we may have to switch into another suitcase. But I really love the way it packs. It's an exceptional bag, and I've enjoyed the experience. I put nothing in the outside pockets for security reasons and just to keep the bulk kind of minimized but everything is on the inside so I'll show you you can actually access the inside from the outside but I'm not going to do that I'm actually just going to open it and show you what's inside how are we doing Mr. Cruz TV good thank you Natasha it's a sling backpack thank you my goodness sakes Sometimes when I get up really early, go to Pilates, and I've been up for like seven hours by the time I do the live stream, I'm just honestly just a little bit tired. And that's what's happening today. All right, one of the things I like about this um, particular suitcase is these mesh packs that it has over here, these little mesh pockets. So I have a few things in the mesh pockets. One is a total luxury item I should probably not take. This is something that I got 
in my last FabFitFun box, and it's a really it, eucalyptus-y, minty um, detox bath. And since we have a bathtub on this cruise, I just really want this with me. It's so nice to have a tub and to be able to enjoy it. It's probably a ridiculous thing to pack because I could buy something like this in Japan very easily. So it might hit the cutting room floor if we need to really lighten the bags. There's a lot of things that could. Next, I have um, an entire cruise supply of Santa hands that I've put into a Ziploc bag. They're just nice and flat. So I have a bunch of these in my backpack, but then I put the rest of them in here. So that's how I'm using the mesh pockets. This mesh pocket is not in use because this side of the suitcase was a little too bulky. Now we're gonna get into specifics on my clothing. So this, these packing cubes here um, in this particular suitcase are all my clothing. I have three e-bags medium packing cubes completely full, plus I have somewhere else I feel like I have one more, but we'll figure that out later. Okay, so let's talk about what's in the first packing cube exactly. I have some really cute jammies that I just got at Old Navy. Have you guys been to Old Navy and seen their new prints? This is a thermal long sleeve top, and this these are um, flannel pants. So I'm taking some fun kind of holiday-ish pajamas. I will wash these frequently and re-wear them. I don't feel like I need multiple pairs of pajamas. You don't spend a lot of time in your jammies on a cruise, so I'm just gonna re-wear it, wash. And then in this particular bag, I have a combination of exercise clothing. I have one exercise outfit, and then I have all of my swimsuits. Actually, it's just two. I had three swimsuits in the bag and then I took them out and I have swim cover-ups. So this is a really thin hoodie for working out. This is one of my swim cover-ups. And then the rest of this is just my swimwear and the rest of my beach cover-ups. I don't want to unpack this one because this was a difficult one to kind of get packed, but you will see what I'm wearing in our vlogs. We'll definitely show you. Brooke, thank you so much. Um, Brooke, we're kind of doing carry-on only, but we're really more focusing on just going light um, because we may have to check the bags due to international requirements. So we're not calling it that anymore. We're just calling it packing light, just for the record. Okay, I'm just gonna throw this down here and I will make it nice later. All right, packing cube number two for me contains my shirts and my jeans and things like that. If you saw our haul video on our Cruise Gear channel, you know I got this pretty purple shirt with bell sleeves. I'm only taking one pair of jeans on this cruise because they're very easy to wash. And um, I'm not wearing jeans on the plane. I'm wearing travel pants that I got at Costco because apparently I'm an old lady now and that's just what I wanna do. And so yeah, that's happening. And then I'm wearing, I'm taking some, some t-shirts and one more hoodie in here. Definitely a purple profile on this particular cruise. You guys are gonna see a lot of purple. So basically what we have here is four t-shirts, four tank tops, and two pair of shorts. So that's what's in this bag. I'm not gonna show it all because it is just too difficult to pull every item out. And I wanna buzz through everything. Next, on the other side of this bag, let's see what we've got over here. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see into this side. I'm gonna pull it over just a tiny bit and show you. This is how this side of the bag is packed. You can see that there's one full packing cube. I did something with this packing cube that I've never done before. I put all of my dresses for dinner in one packing cube. So there's no dry cleaning bags, there's no wrinkle prevention happening here. There are irons, there are steamy showers, I don't have to worry about wrinkles. So they are all in here. Just to give you a breakdown, for 12 nights I have packed seven dresses, two formal, five casual and I have my jeans to wear to dinner. I think I may wear jeans and nice tops a few times to dinner, but this is a look at how all of my dresses went into the cube. I think they did great. They aren't particularly wrinkle prone. You're gonna be seeing a lot of repeats in here, you guys. I have a lot of dresses already that I really like and I wear. You're gonna see things that I wore on my Alaska cruise. You're gonna see things I wore on MSC Carnival. A lot of repeats in here. In fact, there is maybe only one or two new dresses that I got. So seven dresses into a packing cube. You only have to do a packing cube for dresses if you're going really light. Normally I'd recommend laying them flat on top of your suitcase to keep the wrinkles out. This is definitely not the norm for me, but worked out great. Um, down here in the bottom of this suitcase, you can't see it very well, but my hamper is in there. There's another mesh compartment where you can zip things in, and I've got my, my hamper all nicely stored in that area. 
I have the hat that I've chosen. This is the Billabong hat that was featured in our haul video. You guys helped me to pick which one I'm taking, and this is the winner. And then I have my laundry bag. This has some stain remover and some um, whitening booster, some powdered whitening booster instead of bleach. My actual Tide Pods that I'm taking are in my TSA liquid bag, liquid bag in my backpack because I don't want to put liquids in here. They're, it's technically kind of liquidy, so I felt it would be safer to keep it in the TSA area. And my next item is another um, gorgeous find from Natasha's 31 store. This is a hanging family organizer from Natasha's store. And one of my subscribers suggested that I use this for my first aid and my jewelry, and that's exactly what I did. So whoever that was, I don't know who it was, if it was Megan or someone else, but that's exactly what I did. I have all my jewelry packed nice and flat. Oops, that's undone. As you can see, I'm a Pura Vita bracelet fanatic. I have um, a wristwatch in here from Movement because it's always a good idea to take an actual wristwatch and not a digital one. This is so this is analog for ports where there could be time change issues. And in Asia, we are going through like five time zones. So that's critical for me. Necklaces for formal night. And then I have my first aid items here and another bath soak. So we have fever reducer for adults and kids. We have band-aids, we have some cold medication, and just a few things like cough drops in this particular bag. So this one came in really handy. This can be hung on the back of your stateroom door, or it can be hung um, in your closet, anywhere that you want in your stateroom. Okay, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, I'm just gonna put this one on the floor instead of having you come over because it's just too difficult for you to get out of that small little hole. All right, sorry guys. All right, let's talk about our, um, our pre-cruise night packing cube. So this, as you can see, this is a ginormous packing cube. It's really bulky. That is because the strategy that we're using on this cruise is to wear all of our bulk on the airplane. So this is the outfit. These are the outfits we'll be wearing on the airplane. This packing cube will not be packed in a suitcase. It will simply go with us to the hotel the night before the um, the night before the cruise, and then our dirty clothes that we wore to the hotel will go back in this cube and into our vehicle, and they will stay in the vehicle so we're not transporting things we don't need, right? So hopefully that helps you. Um, I will tell you what's in this, although again, I don't really feel like you need to see everything because it's pretty simple. But you can see that Mr. Cruise Tips TV has his hoodie in here. It's very bulky. I'm forcing him to take it. He's super minimalist and he would have probably just survived with his packable puffy jacket. But I want him to have a hoodie as well because I think that it's going to be colder in Tokyo and Japan than, than we think. So I'm kind of pushing that agenda a little bit. And then I have my fleece that I'm going to wear because it's really bulky. A t-shirt, my nerdy old lady... Costco travel pants that I'm in love with. I don't care what they look like. They feel so good. And I know I'll be able to like, you know, wiggle and sleep in them. I'm not someone who sits still very easily. I wiggle, I change positions, I tuck my legs under myself and I need to be comfortable. And jeans do not foster that. So we have underwear in here for the whole family. We have my son. What he's wearing is this cute little Adidas set that we got at Costco. It's like a... Um, what do you call it? Like a little leisure suit. So he's gonna be wearing that. Thank you, Jennifer, for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Yay, you're going on the windy indie. Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of packing videos. So if this one doesn't work for you, we can find you something else. Um, Hubby is wearing jeans on the plane and a nice pretty cotton polo. I'm sorry, not pretty, handsome cotton polo with his hoodie. And my son does have a matching um, hoodie that's just like this from O'Neill. I know we talked about that already the other day, but really excited. So this, gosh, every time I open the cube, it's just completely trashed. So I'm sorry, you guys, I'm not zipping them back up. We'll do that later. You guys ready to see the backpacks? This is the way I think that we can make carry-on packing or packing light work because you can really leverage your backpack to include some more stuff. So um, full disclosure, we did upgrade my son's backpack for this cruise. As you guys may have remembered, he used to have a smaller backpack. Now he's, he's definitely in big boy backpack mode and this looks very stuffed. It's actually extremely lightweight though because we've strategically placed bulky but lightweight items into his backpack so that he can handle the weight but that he does take on a little bit of the bulk for what we're doing. So we'll walk through every single step. First thing we're taking for him is a water bottle. 
I have another water bottle I prefer, but I can't find it. So this little Star Wars guy is coming along. It has a little snack container in the bottom. We got this in the mall at the Disney store or something like that. For those of you who are interested in it, it was $9 at the Disney store. I do not have a link, but kind of cool to have water and snacks in the same little thing. So that's the outside of his backpack. On the other side, he has his sunglasses. So he's taking two pairs. He has his little Ray-Bans that we got on sale and then his favorite little pair of Skull sunglasses that were probably less than $10. So those are staying here. We're gonna have to be careful with those though because on the plane, if he gets this under the seat and it gets kicked, I'm worried about these sunglasses. So I may move them a little bit later. Now I'm gonna kind of deconstruct his bag, show you what's on the inside. Let's start with the outer packet. This particular um, bag, it's called a Yak Pack and we got it at, I think we got it at TJ Maxx. Does that sound right to you, honey? Yak pack at TJ Maxx? Probably, huh? It was a discount, maybe $14 kind of a backpack, no big deal. Okay, so he has, I know he will, you know, these are important items to him. He has his Kindle and then he has like a, a Samsung tablet that he likes to use. So he reads a lot. He's got his books on here all ready to go. That's what's in the outside pocket. He has this adorable new um, gift from Natasha. This is a snack pouch for kids or adults. If you like a little monster snack pouch, you can have one too. They have adorable Christmas um, prints in these snack pouches, but as you can see, it's a washable inside. So before we go on our flight, we're going to fill this with snack items for him that we know he likes. So things like nuts, raisins, yogurt raisins, whatever, just a little something in case we don't get breakfast quickly the morning that we're flying out, or if we wanna stuff something in here on a port day for him, I love this. So this was a really, something I never would have thought of, but Natasha thought, hey, you might be able to use this, and she was so right. So it has a food safe lining and you can wash the inside of it. Um, and they, again, they come in little um, masculine prints, feminine prints, and they even have little Christmas ones. But this is really cute and he loves this, he's excited. So I'll be filling this up before we go on our cruise. We're not leaving just yet, so a little more time. And then he has his little, he has this little bag that he got from Bag It by Joanne last year that has a lot of his little essentials in it. So he has his, um, his room card lanyard. We always use the same one. We actually got this lanyard, guys, at Home Depot for him. Home Depot has great lanyards. So that's what he's got in there. And then, dun dun dun, dun you guys know what's coming next? Froggy. Froggy has been cruising with us since my son was three. And he is just a tradition. He goes to dinner. It's just fun and funny. The waiters always get in on the froggy action. I don't know what makes it so cute and funny, but it's a family tradition. So froggy's going along. So that's the outside pocket. As you can see, it's not totally and completely stuffed. For those of you who have um, a lot of questions coming in, I will get to them soon. Thank you for your patience. I know this is taking a little longer than we anticipated, but I don't want to, um, I wanna show you everything before we answer questions. Okay, let's talk about the main compartment because this is definitely not all his stuff. So I wanna show you how we leverage this space to take advantage of getting some puffies in there. Honey, you're seeing this for the first time. My husband's like, what did you do? <laughs> Look at all this stuff. Poor little guy. It's lightweight though, you guys. And I, he is a, he's a small kid, so we don't want him hauling a huge backpack. The first thing I got in here is something new that was actually, this is actually a gift someone gave me. This came from a friend who traveled with one. This is called, a, I think it's called a turtle pillow. And it is a, a, it's like a neck wrap that doubles as a pillow. I have another travel pillow from Travelon in my other backpack, but I really wanted to try this one because I keep hearing about it and it just looks so cool. So what you do is you open the Velcro, you wrap it around your neck and it has some basically like a plastic beam inside of it that cushions your neck. And I really like the way it feels. So that's going in here. It's so lightweight. I'm gonna take it out and we'll repack later. And then we have this large packing cube. This is all of our packable puffy jackets for the whole family because again, it will be winter in Japan. So he has this little guy it's really really light but it's going to take the burden off of us to keep our jackets in this bag and not in those suitcases because look how bulky this is it's super light but it takes up a ton of space so all of our family jackets are there and then we have the last thing in his backpack this is the absolute last thing this is the last of the three slim packing cubes that I got from 
e-bags recently, and this one contains kind of a mishmash of different things, mostly for my son. But he, like I said, he's so tiny, things just don't take up space. We have goggles for the whole family, and that's because sometimes when we go swimming in the pool, if they're chlorinated pools, your eyes really burn, and we do a lot of swimming in the pools and the ocean when we go on vacation. So sometimes if we go snorkeling, we don't even use a snorkel, we'll just take our goggles because it can feel a little bit more sanitary just depending on where you are. And in a chlorinated pool, your eyes get red and, and sensitive so fast. So we have goggles for the whole family, pajamas, socks, underwear, and a little hat for my son. So pajamas, socks, underwear, and I guess his swimsuit must be in the other one and our goggles. So that's going in his backpack as well and that's all that's in his backpack, that's all she wrote. The last thing, I feel like we are just, we've got so much to cover today, you guys. My goodness sakes, how's everybody doing, Mr. Cruz to be? Good, they're surviving. I'm gonna grab a drink before we um, do the backpack. We're gonna do my backpack next. What, does the silence make you uncomfortable? He's looking at me like, say something, I'm I know. for the sponsor break. That was a good commercial. Uh, I know, my LaCroix break. Uh, I didn't not, even think about sponsored, that. Not sponsored, but you know, hey. Yeah. You never know. You never know. <laughs> now that would be funny. That would be funny. Okay, here is my new backpack. I say new, but it's exactly like the one that I had before. I just got a new one in a new color. I just felt like I wanted a gray one for this particular cruise. So this is the Oryx and backpack that we always reach for. You always see me posting about this sucker on Facebook. It's in our Amazon store, amazon.com forward slash shop, forward slash cruise tips TV. Look for this brand and buy the bigger one if you want to. I think this is the 33 liter, but this is mine. Kimberly, thank you so much. Not a bad idea, Kimberly, about transferring the eucalyptus stuff into a small travel bottle. Yeah, because I don't really need to take it all. You're right, that's a great idea. Okay, so let's talk about what's in the outside pockets here. So far, I have my sunglasses and I have a hairbrush. The only reason I have the hairbrush on the outside right now is because you know you're gonna use this in the hotel the night before, right? Like, I could pack it, but we're all gonna be reaching for it. The other side on the outside is empty right now. I'm actually um, expecting a new pair of sunglasses to come from Movement, and I'm holding a little space for them. Hopefully they, they will come, and we will be packing them in there and showing them off. I'll show you um, pouch by pouch, compartment by compartment, what's in here. This is not pretty, but this is my Ziploc bag full of all that stuff you need when you travel. I've got Clorox wipes to wipe down the airplane as soon as we get on. So to wipe down the, um, the armrests, to wipe down the little buttons that you press, and to wipe down our tray table. I also have a ton of Kleenex tissue because I tend to get a runny nose on airplanes and I, you know, you just need tissue. I have Advil for myself in case I get a headache on this long 12 hour flight, very likely to happen. And then over here, you'll see a ton of Santa hands. These are alcohol based hand sanitizing wipes that we swear by and we use in daily life. So this is my little must, you know, must have um, Ziploc bag full of stuff. There's no liquid in there, so that's not TSA stuff. The TSA stuff is coming soon. This area that's kind of behind it has only two things in it. It has our passports. I just realized I need a pen in here. I need to pack a pen. In this back compartment, this is where I put small bills for tipping. And then I have some business cards here. And again, I will add a pen to that area. The only other thing that's here is my little tech pouch. As you can see, I have downgraded to a smaller travel on um, little gear. What do you call this? Tech organizer, it's a tech organizer. And I was able to do really, really well um, getting everything into this one. I've got headphones, earbuds, um, I have charging um, cables, I have chargers, and I will also be adding a ring light in later, but that's pretty much it. I also have my Apple Watch charger. This is a lot smaller than my other travel on case, and I'm really pleased that I was able to downgrade, and this will be great on the plane, so. I think we're gonna have um, power outlets on the plane. It should be pretty nice. The, the plane we're on is pretty pretty nice, so I'm looking forward to being able to charge without my 
my little charging banks. Okay, next up is the main Big Daddy compartment. I'll kind of show you what it looks like before I deconstruct it, but this is everything that's in my backpack. Again, a lot of what's in here may change after our first night in the hotel because of the fact that I can move some of the things that we've used into one of our other suitcases, like toothbrushes and things like that, or my curling iron, things like that can be moved. In here, um, I just have more tissues and more alcohol wipes for my hands in this top little pocket. This is also the pouch that when you when you um, fold the backpack into itself, this is the pouch that um, holds the backpack. So it, it folds into something this small, which is wonderful. Okay, I'm gonna go through every single item that we have in here. First up, I have my cosmetics bag. Again, this is another one from Natasha's 31 store. This is fantastic. As you can see, it's not full yet because I'm transferring my makeup to a larger case to this, but you've got a brush holder, place to put your small things like eyeliner, and then a place to put everything else that's plastic lined. So if your foundation or powder spills in there, you're fine. I think Mr. Crucibs TV wanted to say something. Hi, is that all? Oh, you're so cute. Thanks, babe. Hi to you. Um, what's next? Okay, let's, oh, there's the third packing cube. Okay, this is my flight essentials kind of pack. And I love using a slim cube to put into a, um, a backpack because it just slides right into the back pocket and doesn't take up a lot of space. I will go over everything that's in here for our flight. This was specifically designed for just the airplane portion. This is a very soft and cozy travel on neck pillow. So now you can see we have two neck pillows for the three of us. We don't expect that we're all going to be using them at the same time. So we felt like two was enough. And then I have the cozy socks. Oh, yay, I did remember them. And then I have an eye mask. And then as you, if you saw our haul, you know I'm going to read Rachel Hollis's book, Girl, Wash Your Face. I've heard it's good. I've heard some people love it. Some people hate it. We'll see. If, again, that's one of the things, though, where if this bag or if anything gets too heavy, that's another thing that we can take out and leave at home. I don't have to take a large book. It, you know, we have to be practical. So this is my flight survival kit right here. Next up, I have my e-bags packet flat toiletry kit. Once again, this is one of my favorites. I do have several toiletry bags, but this guy is a favorite. I will show you in detail what is in this, but you'll also see this in our cabin organization video. Once we're on board the ship, we walk around the room, show you everything, and we tend to show you what's in the bag. Um, first thing in here is vitamins, a little soap to remove my lip scents, and some um, sunscreen. Uh, stick because we're not taking any liquid sunscreen. We're going to buy it on the ship or in port. Next up, I have cotton balls, Q-tips, and I have a whole mess of Ziploc bags, just extra Ziploc bags to pack in case I need them, and a little headband for washing my face. In the main compartment here, you can see that we have packed, um, this is cool because it has a mirror on it, by the way. If you're looking at the packet flat, you can probably could see yourself right now. Ooh. Um, it has this hanger and it has a little compartment for other things that you can see through. This is makeup removal wipes, earplugs, and chapstick. Down here I have tweezers and a nail file. And in the main compartment here, I have a bar of soap. I have razors uh, for the family, toothbrush and toothpaste for the family. This will move to my TSA bag after we've used it. And I decided to pack a full-size deodorant that my husband and I can just share this time instead of travel deodorant. And then I always travel with baby powder. It has a million, a million uses. Okay. So on this side, I have just a few other things. I have more Clorox wipes. I have the norovirus wipes that we always recommend. As you can see, I pack a very small amount of the norovirus wipes. And then I have some Pampers wipes because a lot of times there's no toilet paper in um, Asia. And so we'll put those into Ziploc bags and take it along with us, along with tissues and things like that. So that's the toiletry bag for those of you who are interested. I'm obsessed with the e-bags packet flat. It's wonderful. I'm obsessed with e-bags, period. They have amazing things. So that's that. There's a lot in my backpack, guys. I know this is taking a while. Let's talk about the TSA bags. Before everyone shouts at me for having a gallon bag, I am not keeping the gallon bag. The gallon bag is just holding the two quart size bags. This is just for purposes of traveling to the hotel and keeping everything together. Then I will take these out and we can separate them into suitcases since you're only allowed to have one quart size bag with your TSA items per person. So this is what we're taking in the way of toiletries for our trip. This is it. Um, and as you can see, my husband's um, shaving cream is over here. I will move that into one of these bags. But we have shampoo, conditioner, Tide Pods, chapstick, face cream, hair gel, face wash, and just a few other little 
face and hair care items that we normally need. So that's that. And these quart bags, again, will be what we take when we carry on. I only brought the gallon bag for ease of stuffing it into my um, carry on. I also packed extra Ziploc bags. And this Ziploc will also come in handy for other things. This bag here could be used to take a snack off of the, um, off of the cruise, things like that. Okay, so that is the toiletry stuff. We're getting close, we're almost done. I have my favorite wrap or shawl that I always take on every flight and every cruise. It is neutral, it is wonderful, it has 10 million uses. You can wrap it around your shoulders for dinners and cold theater shows on a cruise. It is heaven on earth on a flight to wrap yourself up in when you're cold, to cover your face, to cover your eyes when you're trying to nap, to warm your child, to wrap around your neck. So many uses. This is the time of year that you can find these in department stores, by the way. Macy's, other large department stores carry these during the holidays, so go find one. Find something machine washable, though. This one is, and that's probably my best advice for you today. My curling iron is in here, but it will be transferred to a suitcase after our night in the hotel, right? Because I don't need that on the plane. And then the last thing that I wanna show you today is my travel binder. It's worth spending a few moments on what is in here. I have everything in here from my wall mount itinerary to my travel insurance policy. And it has been divided up by tabs. As you can see, tab number one, has our boarding passes in it and our luggage tags. We've used plastic luggage tags and they are already fully ready to go. And next I have all of my hotel confirmations. Then I have my travel summary of everything that I've booked on the cruise on this binder, anything on board. This is all of my tour confirmations completely printed off and ready to go. And then I have some port information for a port where we don't have plans, which is Yokohama, because we're not there for very long. So I have printed out port information. And then I have other things like thank you cards for people that I meet and um, stuff like that. And then last but not least, I have our wall mount itinerary. And I actually have, I have two things I'm hanging on the wall on this cruise. I'll show you what they are. One of them is our standard wall mount itinerary. As you can see, it's rather full this time. We can get a copy of this to you. You can ask me for it by email, or if you sign up for our masterclass, this is one of the many downloads available to you in the masterclass. That is a $25 course. It is worth every penny. It is cheaper than packing cubes and will have you cruising like a boss. Um, this is something that we laminate and stick on the wall and it shows the date, the port, what we're doing that day, the hours in port, and any other important information, our stateroom number, all of that. I also did a different thing this time, and I took the map and put it on a separate page, and then this is our kind of some of the filming things that we wanna accomplish. Obviously, that's not something that necessarily everyone needs to have, but we have some episodes that we wanna film, so this is a way to kind of keep track and then check off those episodes as we film them for you guys while we're on board. So this binder has been just such a wonderful change to the way that I've been planning this cruise. I've never done this before. I got this idea from Scott at Scott Singer Cruises. He always takes a binder. And the first time I saw it, I think I went, I think I thought, wow, that looks really big and bulky. And then I started to really warm up to the idea of having everything in one place. And when you're going to five countries, in 12 days, there's just more stuff to manage. So I'm really, really stoked that, um, that this worked out. And I love these dividers with pockets. Instead of having to hole punch everything, I'm just using pocket dividers. So guess what, guys, we're done. Now we can jump in and have some fun. So for those of you who are new to our channel, <laughs> welcome. Um, if you've asked a question and you're waiting, I'll do everything I can to, to get to you. All right, Jamie's here from Sharon at Sea. Hey, Jamie, good to see you here. For those of you who aren't familiar with um, the Sharon at Sea channel, they're awesome YouTubers, family YouTubers, and they just planned an awesome group cruise collaboration with some of our other friends here on YouTube, so be sure to check that out. And let's start answering some questions. Okay, so Steel Iron 2 says, how do you get your magnets apart? Usually I can still get them apart, Steel Iron, but I know there are people who shove business cards into them to separate them. She just them. gives them to me. I give them to you. Take I have these. done that a few times, huh? Have I done that lately, sweetie? Giving them to you more and more? They are hard. It's getting harder for me, I know. Mm. Jill said, can anyone use the serenity areas on carnival like the deck areas? Anyone over a certain age, does anybody know what the carnival serenity age limit is? Is it 14 or 16? I'm not sure if Jill will get you, will get you the answer, okay? Um, Sherry Maven said, I still can't figure out how you get so much in your carry-on. Yours must be bigger than mine. Yeah, the suitcases are, they're carry-on approved, but they're not 
teeny tiny cabin bags, but packing cubes are also helpful. Um, LG Bernard said, what is a rash guard? A rash guard is something that you wear when you go in the water to protect your skin. It is either a short or long sleeve shirt made out of basically swimsuit material. They're called different things. They started off being used just by surfers, but now people use them just for regular sun care. And I'm really super fair, so I always pack a rash guard for myself and my kid, and that way I don't get sunburned. Okay, Linda, how do you travel with your husband's dress jacket? We don't, Linda. He is not taking a dress jacket. He wears vests and bow ties and shirts and no jacket, and we definitely are okay with that. It's He will look very formal. Sherry, yes, our carry-ons are pretty much all the same size. Becky said, you gave me an incentive to pack light for my seven-night cruise in March. Thanks. Yeah, you can do it. <laughs> Jess said, take a breath. Yes, I probably do need to take a breath. I'm not sure when you typed that, but boy, I tell you. A mile a minute, right? All right, let's see. Brooke said, I'm packing with you. Yay! You sail out on Monday on Carnival Triumph. That's awesome, Brooke. Have a wonderful cruise. Connie said, the airlines I've traveled on and the backpacks would be considered a carry-on, so you couldn't have that and a suitcase. Yeah, that's, that's sometimes the case, and we're fully aware, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, that we may have to check our bags, and that's perfectly fine. There are free checked bags on both of our flights if we want to do that. We also, we just like to be nimble when we get off the, the flight, if we can, if we have our bags, if we're allowed to keep them with us, which I believe on the flight over we are. Um, we can just go straight, instead of going to the baggage carousel or, you know, risking losing our baggage, we can just go straight to the shuttle and go to our hotel. Um, Megan, yes, that backpack would be excellent for a beach backpack. I use it for a beach backpack. It's totally perfect. It's very lightweight. Um, yes, Roxanne, the tech organizer is absolutely in the Amazon shop. You can find it there. We also have a discount code for you for travel on, which I will leave in the comments um, after this, or maybe I'll put it in the description, but I can get that to you. Thank you so much, Nancy, for the kind words. I really, really appreciate it. I try. I feel like I'm talking too fast today, but thank you so much. Deborah said, I was wondering if we could see your travel pants. Of course you may. Let me get them for you. Where be my travel pants? Oh, they just happen to have gotten flung off to the side on the floor. Okay, I'll hop happily hold them up for you. This is a size medium, I think. I usually buy a medium in anything that's like Costco. This is what they look like. They're kind of a shorter ankle pant, but on me, they're just regular size because I'm really short. <laughs> I'm five foot zero. So this is what they look like. They have a nice little pocket. They have a very soft waistband, no buttons or anything, and they're from the brand 32 Cool, which also makes wonderful t-shirts for uh, men and women and camis and everything. This is 90% polyester and 10% spandex. I usually hate polyester, but for pants, I don't mind it. I just don't like it for shirts. So these are the travel pants, and again, if you can find them at Costco, they're under $15, and they're really super cool and they don't wrinkle, and they're easy to wash and wear again, and I just, I'm really glad that I found them. I'll let you know how I enjoy them. Oh, she after. rocks them too. Huh? She rocks them. You I rock, rock them? Those, yeah. Are you being, are you teasing me? No. I'm you really think they look good? They look so awesome. Yeah, uh-huh. He, I was like wearing them around the house after I first got them, I'm like, I love these pants. I love these pants. And walking around wearing them, he's like, okay, hun. No, but they, they really are cute. They are, they're stylish, and they're not too high-waisted. I don't, I kind of like a combination. I like a mid-rise these days. I know. Oh, Char, I'm so glad you're getting so close to your cruise. Yes, the shoe struggle is real, and you're so welcome for the masterclass. I'm glad you're ready and not panicking. That's exactly why we did it, and we are so happy that you're a student. Um, oh, Melissa said, do you wear sunscreen under your rash guard? Kind of depends on the day, Melissa. If it's sort of like a, if it's a long day where um, I might be exposed to the sun before I put the rash guard on, then yeah, I would. And then I might add the rash guard when I go out for a prolonged period of time in the water. But not always. Um, sometimes I'll wear it in lieu of, but then it exposes my neck right here, so I'll always make sure I get sunscreen on the exposed areas. Okay, yes, Connie, what an excellent tip. Listen to this tip from Connie. If you check your luggage cross pack, some of each person's stuff in each bag in case one gets lost. And yeah. All right, Lego Irish Step, we started at noon. Oh my goodness sakes, who on earth just gave us that huge super chat? John Carey. Thank you, John and Tanya, for the super chat. 
John said, Auntie Tanya says, Junior Editor needs a stuffed kitty for your trip. We hope the CTTV family has an amazing adventure and wonderful holiday. Thank you, John. You're so precious. We appreciate you. Um, yes, and you know you know Junior now that he loves kitties. In fact, his little Amazon store is full of cats. Um, maybe we'll just have to pick him up a little stuffed kitty somewhere in Asia. He really, he keeps seeing all of these um cat cafes and cat bars in Asia. So if we can find one, we're gonna take him. But thank you so much, John and Tanya, for your generosity. You're so precious. I, I really appreciate that. And maybe we'll have steak in the steakhouse on the Carey family while we're on our cruise. So thank you. All right. Ah, Hooch said, how do you account for bringing um, souvenirs back? Hooch, good question. We were just talking about this the other day. We aren't big souvenir people. I have to tell you that's kind of my big disclaimer. My rule is I only buy as many souvenirs as I use toiletries. So these will all be done and discarded by the end of our cruise. This is about as much space as I'm willing to add for souvenirs. So we're just not big souvenir people. I'll, I'll get a few things, but usually I get very small things. So hopefully that answers your question. Did you want to say something, sweetheart? I'm sorry. You know what, I just want to take a minute or the opportunity to thank everyone today in the chat because yeah. there's been so many good tips coming in and I don't want to name names because I'd miss somebody and I, then I'd feel bad, but it's that kind of interaction that makes our community, in my opinion, the best out there. So thank you everybody and a special thanks to all the people who are giving us super chats. Remember, yeah. you, you, you don't have to do that, but we really do appreciate it. Don't get me emotional. We like the thumbs up though. We like thumbs up. Yes, you do have to. It's official now. You do have to do the thumbs up. You do have to. You do have to. You yes, have to give required. us a thumbs up if you watch the <laughs> I'm video. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. My mic is going off now. Okay. All right. No, I know. I get, I get a little emotional when I think about this crew because it's pretty amazing. It's just pretty amazing, the family that we have here. Kimberly, you're so funny. Going quick, but I had a lot to share. I did, Kimberly. It's so hard to do it slowly. I feel like when I did my husband's video, I could go more slowly because... His stuff was pretty easy to explain, but on this one, I just had to power through it. Okay, um, Lisa, if you would like to carry your bags onto the cruise yourself, you're welcome to do that. I don't recommend it. Usually people don't have issues with losing their bags at the cruise terminal, so hand them over and just take a nice little backpack so that you're not burdened, okay? Um, I'd rather see you do that than be strapped with them. There's very few times when we have actually um, carried our bags on. Seth is getting ready to do his packing video soon that will allow plenty of room for souvenirs. Yeah, Seth is obviously, you guys know, he's our resident packing ninja and hot tub club president. Um, but Seth has a really, really good way of packing. He also is very good on camera and has a really like soothing way of telling you how he packs everything. He uses really high quality luggage. So as soon as we get those um, videos from Seth, we'll be sure to post those somewhere. Thank you, Flavia, for all five thumbs ups. We appreciate it. When is your next cruise, Flavia? Let me know. All right. Okay, any other questions? I think that I think that we do have more. I'm sure we've missed some. So go ahead and type in any questions that I have missed. Chelly, were you able to get back into the master class? Would you let me know that you're okay? I always worry when people have any login issues. Um, Marcy said, do cruise ships have bathrooms and changing rooms? Yeah, Marcy, they do. They have restrooms everywhere. I don't know what you mean about changing rooms, but like in the spa and the things, they have like locker rooms and stuff. So up by the fitness center, they have that. But then, of course, you have your own bathroom in your stateroom as well. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, what a good idea, Christine. That's a great cruise tip. Christine said they've decided they're going to buy Christmas ornaments off the ship and on the islands for your souvenirs. I love that. And they make good gifts. That is actually one thing I have bought, which I buy very few souvenirs, but we buy ornaments and we also buy um, snow globes. Sometimes the ship will have its own snow globe. And we have a really cute one from Norwegian that we love very much. It's super awesome. Okay. Um, oh, Zachary said, what will junior editor be bringing for the plane? So Zachary, we kind of went through his backpack. He's going to take a Kindle and he's going to take um, a, like a Galaxy notepad, but he is obsessed, Zachary, with the movies in the seat back. He will watch them back to back. So last time we flew to Florida, he did nothing except for watch those back to back to back. And if we could get him to eat a meal, it was like a miracle. So he's just going to do the movies. I don't know how he's going to occupy himself for 12 hours. What's this? Oh yeah, this is our cute little Norwegian snow globe, guys. Look, and this is small. Like I would put this in my suitcase. Super pretty. Isn't it cute? 
Love it. So it's specific to that cruise line. I don't have a ton of stuff like this, but I, you know, a few things. We should put that over here for the holidays, huh, hon? It looks cute, matches everything. Okay, um, let's see. Bookworm agent said, what does carry-on only mean? Carry-on only means that you don't check your bags on a flight, that you just take them onto the plane with you. We're not even sure that that's what we're doing, bookworm agent, because we don't know if we'll be allowed to. International flights are very different, but with domestic flights, all this stuff would have been fine to take on board. Okay, um, Ash said, any tips for short cruises that are in hot climates? Yeah, definitely. Comfortable shoes, flip-flops, sneakers, and lots of cotton clothing, lots of sunscreen, resort wear, and swimsuits. That would be my tip. Thank you, April, so much. Um, Brigilda said, Sherry, what kind of soap do you use for your lip scents? Brigilda, I remove mine with the Neutrogena bars of soap that are kind of that brownish clear. The glycerin in them is what removes it. So you take a Q-tip, you wet it, and you rub it in the soap, and then you, you take it off with a few layers. It takes a few layers, but it's the best possible way to remove lip scents. Okay. Um, Sherry said, which carry-on bag do you use that is the roomiest? I, uh, some of our IT luggage is probably the roomiest and lightest weight that we have, and you can buy IT luggage at discount stores like a TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross. Okay. Daisy said, how many sunscreen bottles for a family of four? Daisy, if you are going on a seven-night cruise to the Caribbean, I would probably say three bottles for the whole cruise, but I'm being really general because I don't know how much beach time you're going to do or what your usage is, but that's probably good. Um, Jamie said, how many bags can you check in once you get to the cruise terminal on Royal? Probably unlimited bags. I have never heard of anyone having, um, taking too much stuff. Whether or not you can take it on the airplane is another story, but uh, if you're driving to port, you can take as much as you want. Okay, let's get a few more questions here before we sign off today. We'll try to sign off right at one o'clock, do a full hour today. Okay. Getting there if I've missed you. Well, it looks like we might even be caught up today. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, yeah, Hooch V, Faster to the Fun is Carnival's way to buy into their loyalty, sort of. For a little bit of extra money per stateroom, or a lot of money, depending on what you consider a little bit or a lot of money, you get priority boarding, you get your luggage expedited to your stateroom, you get priority tendering, you get a dedicated line at guest services on Carnival, and a few other perks as well. Great tip, Ruby, on the lip sense. That sounds painful, though. It hurt. I don't know if I'd want to put the alcohol wipes on my lips, but I, I think it's a good strategy if you absolutely had to. Um, Nurse Nancy said, what are you most looking forward to? Ah, oh, my boys, just spending time with my family and um, trying to unplug just a little bit. It's not always easy because I'm not a big unplugger, but I'm excited for the cruise itself, the adventure of going to crazy new in different places for us. I'm excited to meet new people, both on the ship and off. I'm excited to see this adventure through my son's eyes and just chill with my family. Thanks for asking, good question. Um, Jenny, every uh, airline has different carry-on size requirements and I don't have them memorized, I'm so sorry. But um, it, it's usually, Usually in the United States, they're pretty close to being the same. So if you were to go on to Delta, American Airlines, or United si uh, sites, their carry-on bags would be pretty uniform. But when you get into international trips, it's totally different. Okay, looking for our last couple of questions. Um, no, Nancy, we're not getting a Wi-Fi card there because we're going to too many different places for it to work. We'd have to buy a Wi-Fi card in each different country. So instead, um, we're going to be using our internet that we have on Princess. We both have 250 minutes each because we're platinum. And then I plan to buy more internet as I need it on the ship because it's worth it to me. Even if I have to spend a few hundred dollars for the 12 nights, I will definitely do that. Okay. Let's see. Um, yes, Zachary, the Lysol wipes were in two places. They were in my backpack for the flight. I think you might have missed it, but they are in there. Um, I'm. You said that TSA hates them. Oh, man. Really? They swab them? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, my gosh. Um, if, for those of you who don't know what cruise we're going on, we're going um, on, a, on Diamond Princess from Tokyo to Singapore soon. All right, I think we're doing pretty good here. I think we've answered most questions. Seth is reminding me to eat my ramen, to slurp my ramen. <laughs> Super excited. Got some more tips coming in about how to get rid of the lip sense. Thank you for that. All right. 
Yes, Nora, I promise we will do plenty of vlogs in every in every port, not a problem. We will take good care of you. Brooke, you have given us two super chats today. That one's for Junior Editor. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're paying him to carry all the heavy stuff in his backpack. I know, he almost looks like he's gonna top or, topple over. I know, Jim, Ting Tao beer is so good. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Uh, Gary, we're gonna repack it very carefully and I'm gonna let my husband do that. He actually, he does the folding and repacking almost completely for the family because he's just so good at it. All right, everybody. Dave and Brandy, um, what port are we most excited for? Um, I don't, I, I'm excited for a lot of them. I'm excited for the excursion that we're doing in Taipei where we're going to a hot springs resort and seeing some cool geo park. But I think I'm most curious about going to Kyoto when we visit Osaka because we got a private guide and she just sounds delightful. And she's going to be taking us on public transportation. So I really feel like we're gonna be able to experience a one-on-one -on -one um, excursion without crowds that's just going to be so nice and it was pretty darn reasonably priced so anyway <laughs> Jamie I haven't really brushed up on too much of my Japanese because I need to know Japanese Vietnamese Chinese but the type you speak in Hong Kong and um, I'm just overwhelmed with all the language things so what we've done is we've tried to just do a couple of quick phrases like please and thank you and hello in each language, but I'm not doing very well, Jamie. I'm like super behind the eight ball on that. All right, what's that? Google Translate. Oh yeah, and we're using Google Translate, Jamie. It's so cool. Um, we have a video coming up for you guys. It's super, super neat. Um, that reminds me, Jamie, what Jamie said reminded me. We have our top 10 apps for travel. We filmed a video for you guys and show you some screenshots of how we're using the apps. And Google Translate is one of them. You can literally speak into it and it'll say, um, the phrase back to you in whatever language you wish. So it's really cool. All right. Yeah, where is the bathroom? So funny. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, hey, Sean and Steph are here from YouTube too. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. It's wonderful to see you here and let me know where your next cruise is. I love following your adventures. But anyway, okay, so we got to log off. Um, got some fun things. I'm hanging out with Junior Editor and his friends today. And we will see you guys on Saturday, December 20th for our next live stream. And we'll, we'll be sure to check in quite a bit with you throughout the month of December. So if you're not following us on social media, be sure to do that. If you like what you saw today and you want to learn a little bit more or you want some packing lists and 20 instructional videos, you got to check out our masterclass. It's pinned in the top comment of this video and it's in the description. Thank you all so very much for being here. We really appreciate each and every one of you. For the travel vloggers in the house joining us, thank you guys so much. Keep kicking butt and making awesome content. And to all of you, until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Hey, click me to subscribe.